This is the material, the oats we're going to be using in our, in our double IPA. So all natural ingredients then. Now we're going to be doing some milling, but first of all, I want to do, I want to taste some of this, mm. some of this grain. Mm. So we're going to be crushing. I'm crushing it with my teeth at the moment, and you can get that the sugars, the flour, the sugars in the in this grain. And then the sugars are going to be, trans the, the yeast is going to be able to eat all of that sugar later on in the brewing process. So we want lots of sugar then to get this double IPA up to 8% ABV. Okay, so very now, uh, quick look at the bin. Okay, so Helga. Yeah. You all know Helga, he's the man who sends me all the beer to the UK. Uh, you're going to be Mr. Cameraman today, is that okay? That's okay for me. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, do you need a beer it. first or, or no? Do you need a beer first or no? Uh, no, no? No beer, no, I can start filming. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need for the double IPA, what malt are we going to be using? We are going to use uh, two row barley. It's a single mash. It's uh, all what we are going to use in the Beer. And we are going to add some sugar as well in, in the boil kettle to dry out the beer. We don't want it to overpowering sweet. So we want uh, the hop profile to be really big on this beer. Okay. So now uh, so we're going to mash in now. It's around 40 kilos. So Simon is a strong man. Yes, but Put it all in. The smell, that wonderful. Wow. One more bag, and we can fill it with the water. That just smells fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You can flatten it out. Yeah, with a paddle? Yeah. We're going to pop a lot of water on the procedure. Sparking, eh? Yeah. So what are we looking to do in this process, Rune? We're looking to get all of these sugars out. Yeah, we're going to... 
We're going to go up to 65 uh, degrees Celsius okay. in the mesh. We, we want it to be quite uh, dry. Yeah. And uh, get the most uh, fermentable sugars out of, of the grain. So um, the beer is going to be about 8.5% alcohol. 8.5%? And and what did I use? Yeah. Okay. So hey guys, what are we doing? Yeah, we're ready to transfer the water to the white cattle now. Okay. So now you can see the, the color. Here. I love the it's clear. The, the color is bright. Uh, ah, look at that! That see. looks like a double IPA that yeah. already. So it's very clear now. Fantastic. So now we're going to pump it over so we get the clearest possible words. Okay. But we're going to get the filter. Filtered it out, filter yeah. all of them. Yeah. So we don't want any lumps and stuff over to the water kettle. Okay. So Let's do it. So it's, it's going Maybe two hours it will take so yeah. we can get the, the boil up. So, how about that? So, so uh, we'll we have to get ready all the hops. We're going to make the mix of the hops yeah. for, the, for the brew. Do you want to do the honors? Push the button? Yes. Push the button. Which one? This one here to the right. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Transfer. <laughs> Okay, Rooney, it's time to add these hops. What we got? Yeah. The first thing we do is we're going to measure up the bittering hops. We're going to use uh, Magnum German hop okay. for that. We have uh, one kilo, a thousand grams of it. So what I like to do with the hops is, is kind of try and... It's difficult with pellets. If it was a flour hop, you could, you could rub it up and get some flavour out of it, but... You get a little bit of this. You can still get, you can still get that lovely, juicy... Bitterness, really, that kind of pininess in the, in the hop. It smells good. Have a, have a smell, really. Yeah, there's a more of some earthy flowering notes mm. from this, this variety of hops, because... Uh, so we need one kilo? One kilo for the bittering uh, edition. So so we can just put that there, and we can uh, measure up. Uh, now we're gonna make for the food. Yeah, not, not in there. This will go at least. Now we're gonna make a mix of uh, four different hop varieties. Okay. In the bucket, and we're gonna make you can say a long variety of hops. We usually we use. Uh, one hop for one stage and yeah. another for another stage. We're not going to do this. We are uh, mixing our own blend of hops. A blend. And what hops are these? We're going to blend. This is uh, this one. This is mosaic. Mosaic. Mosaic hop. And uh, the other ones are Citra and uh, Cascade and Centennial. So when you when you put all of these hops together. Are we hoping for a more of a juicy kind juicy, of flavor? Juicy, fresh, in here? tropical, yeah. very tropical uh, flavor and aroma from it. So more like a new world I yeah, double yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the goal of it. Yeah. So we're going to add the hops really soon. As you can see, the beer is, be well it is boiling. We're beginning to boil, now we've had a look. It is definitely boiling away there. The reason why we boil beer is to get rid of all of the infection, all of the bacteria, all of the nasties in the beer. So we boil it away to sterilize everything. And then we add the hops for lots of flavor. We'll get them in in a moment. It's not just one collaboration beer today, it's two. I'm here with Benjamin. We're brewing a Berliner Weiss. Tell me about the Berliner Weiss. Hagenalize is a uh, German beer, it's a uh, sour beer. Yeah, this one we got a sour overnight with uh, lactobacillus. Okay. So first we got a mash, we got Pilsner malts and uh, wheat malts, 50-50. So we're gonna mash it with this. Yeah, this. we're gonna mash it at 65 degrees for about 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna remove uh, the malt pipe. Uh, from the board, we're gonna sponge it. 
now we will boil, bring it to a quick boil. We will shut it down to 40 degrees and then we will uh, add some uh, milk, milk acid to lower the pH. And then we will add some, uh, some pinched grains to impact the beer. Mm -hmm. uh, like and we will see you when we are tomorrow. We are also going to use in this beer, we are going to use uh, something called fireweed. It's a pink flower. It's gonna match the Berlin Weiss uh, style pretty decent. So maybe we can serve it at the Hollywood uh, Festival. Uh, yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, it would be really good. Just have to see how it turns out. I'm gonna find something to stir with. Light enough to lift now this bucket. Yeah, probably, but you should have stirred it because it gets tight. Oh, I see. Well, you know, it's just about the maximum capacity of this milk pipe. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, we'll carry on washing in. See you in a moment. Okay, we Nick, what are we doing? Yeah, we're going to put the uh, bipping hops in now. It's been boiled for uh, half an hour now. We okay. have done the uh, bipping addition at 30 minutes. 30 minutes of bittering with a magnum hop. Yeah. Okay, let's get it in. Yeah. So there's the lid, yeah? Yeah, the lid. No. Okay. Oh? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's quite hot. There's something more in the wall as well. I'll get the... These in. Okay. And let's have a timer again. We start to continue to hopping in 10 minutes. So, next hop edition, 10 minutes time. Okay, can you see the timer? It's a continuously hopped double IPA. We're going to add an addition of hops every two minutes, 10 times over 20 minutes. So in any minute now, or any second now, that lamb's going to go off to put the hops in. But what hops do we have here to go in? It's a mixture. This it's is a, a mixture mix of hops. It's of the, the hops. Centennial, Cascades, Mosaic, and uh, Citra. It's five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, Just one more smell. Yeah, one more smell. Okay. So Take your lamp to the camera out. Oh, no, no, just uh, be careful of hot steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just okay, so. Job done. Yeah. Every two minutes, ten more times, or oh, nine more times. Hello, Simon. Hey. Hey. So, what, what, what are we going to do now? First time I've ever done this in Bruin. We're going to put some cascade hops, one kilo, into the fermenter before we transfer the wort over into the, into the fermenter. So it's a kind of a, a new dry hopping process for me. Should we go and do it? Uh, now we have the hops for the post fermentation. So these bad boys are going in. Into the into fermentation the and we pump over the wort. Okay. So then what's what going to happen now? When we uh, put the hops in before we ferment, the, the hops are going to go through crazy around in in the uh, in, yeah, yeah, in the beer yeah. when, when the yeast is working. Yeah. And we're going to draw out some some flavors that we usually not get when we dry hop the beer. So, so we're going to do this now, we've got some flavour from the hops, some of it is going to disappear, but we're going to dry hop it two, two more times after the first fermentation. Okay. So, so this is, uh, I don't think many people do this. Okay, we go. Yeah, do so, it. So this is more for the first time to do it, but I think it's going to be amazing. 
craft beer is all about experimentation. Yeah. All about that. Yeah. So this is a, this is a new one for us. Yeah. And for me. Yeah. So we just smack again. Okay, so here is a look. We're transferring this lovely hot wood over into the fermenters just over there. Okay, so we're going to check the pH of the Balenovice. Yeah, we just mashed. Uh, yeah, we mashed it for a while ago. Uh, we brought it to a quick boil just to kill everything uh, unwanted in the, in the wort. Uh, we chill it down to 42 degrees, so now we are going to measure the pH values. Uh, we don't have a pH meter, so we're going to use the strips from uh, Vestvik. Yeah. Commercial. <laughs> yeah. Vestvik is the place we all buy all the hops. Yeah. Vestvik is our most valued partner. Yeah. yeah. Last thing is the yeah, yeah, so all, all of the the grains and stuff. Yeah, hops, malts, everything yeah. comes from yeah. Vespa. So what we're gonna do? Cheers, we're gonna, Vega. Cheers, Vega. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this strip inside for three seconds and see what's happened. So it's pretty blue. It's above yeah. 5.2, I think. Yeah, it's really high, really high um, pH. It's somewhere between 5.2 and 5.5, so we're gonna need to add some uh, lactic acids. So we're gonna measure that up now. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put this, it's lactic acid. It got no bacteria, it's uh, pure acid from yeah, milk product. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a lactic acid, so it helps us uh, decrease the the pH, increase the acidity in the wort. It gives a better environment for the bacteria we want, and a worse environment for the bacteria we don't want. So we're gonna use the same amount as we used uh, on a last quick sour beer. And that's 45 grams. I'm just gonna put power on the scale. That's 45 grams. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> We're gonna have to pour some back. But that's 45 grams of lactic acids. So we are going to add this to the wort. Uh, just uh, drive the pumps for uh, 10, mi 10 minutes and then measure the pH again. If we went too low, we can use some chalk uh, to uh, increase the pH, but we want the low pH anyway, so. Not, not mix the balloon of ice with that, that lovely soundness. Uh, it will. It will, it will not bring any sourness to the beer at all. It will, it will just lower the pH yeah. uh, to, to make a better environment for the bacteria that we want to okay. make a sour, to make a Berlin Weisse or gross, uh, any quick soured beers, kettle soured beers. You can use a lot of products. You can use uh, uh, sour milk products like Viola, for example. Uh, what we are going to do when we have the, the correct uh, pH, we are going to use uh, hand-picked uh, grains of wheat and uh, pilsner malt. Uh, just put it in, put some plastic over it because we don't want oxygen to the wort. And just let it stay. Tomorrow we can taste it if it's sour enough. We can boil it and make the, the base for the Berlin Weiss that we're going to make for our collaboration. Uh, if not, we're going to have to let it stay until Saturday to get even more sour. So, let's just see what happens. 
So what we're gonna do now, we, uh, we put the lactic acids in about 20 minutes ago, let the pumps run. Uh, we're gonna check the pH levels now. Uh, hopefully it's turning green. One, two, three. Yeah, it's turning green. It's yeah, somewhere. It's yeah, it's. It's four point two. Uh, somewhere between four point two and four point four. Point four. Woohoo! We done it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what do we have here, Rune? We have the grains with the lactobacillus on. Lactobacillus. Yeah. 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 It's on the grains. We have wheat and we have uh, pistol malt. Okay. And then we're gonna seep it overnight. In, in, in the yeah, just put everything inside in, in, inside uh, um, the world we're gonna uh, stabilize it at 42 degrees overnight so we don't get any other bacteria and uh, wild yeast in it so, we, so it's not gonna start fermenting so uh, yeah, let's color what we with the uh, temperature on uh, 42 yeah, so, so the yeast are not living over that yeah. temperature. And we lowered the acidity level, no, we increased the acidity and lowered, lowered the pH levels yeah, so uh, yes. to make a nice environment for uh, lacto... We used, to, to we yeah. used uh, a we lot did. more grains now than we used last time in it as well to see if we can uh, achieve, achieve, get more, some, more achieve like higher uh, sourness than uh, with only like we we used like one fist uh, last time now we're using three fists I don't know how to do three fists so we're using a lot more uh, a lot more grains now to see if uh, the uh, the surface the surface the surface of the grains can add more more uh, baby like the bacillus uh, to increase. We put the uh, plastic film over the world. Yeah, we don't want oxygen. We don't want oxygen to the world because oxygen is food for uh, like uh, bacteria like Pediococcus. Uh, it might give you a pretty indecent smell like uh, so, uh, used uh, gym bags. Uh, taste you don't, yeah. Beer. yeah, you don't want uh, you don't want gym bags. Uh, also, Pediococcus uh, produces a high level of diacetyl. You don't want diacetyl in a Berliner Weisse. You don't want it in your beer anyway. No. Uh, maybe if it's a Czech Pilsner, it was a small yeah. amount. But, or a Scotch. We have it somewhere. Yeah. Like you, you can have amounts of uh, butterscotch, but you don't want it in a fresh, uh, wild, what was it called? Wildfire almost. Uh, fireweed. Fireweed. Well, fire fire we, we, we Sour put, Simon. Sour Simon Sour is Simon, called. Sour but we don't put uh, the fireweed. Yeah. In the, we put it in We're the going second, to make an extract. Yeah. Stage of yeah. it. After it's done with the primary fermentation, uh, we're going to check out where we at, what's the ABV, what's the uh, What's the gravity where we are after maybe a week? We're going to make a, an extract from fireweed. We're going to add it, make the beer pink. To the second fermentation. Yeah, to the second so, so secondary. Let's go so, secondary. So this process we use with this thing here. It's hard to if we we're gonna produce this on a big scale. We cannot do this. Some people use uh, just uh, pure uh, carbon carbon dioxide. Push but, over uh, the, yeah. the lid. You have a lid of car carbon dioxide over but, the But that, beer. that's overrated. So it so doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. Don't it doesn't work as people think it works. So we are using plastic because plastic is oxygen. Yeah. Uh, for one night, two nights, it's it's pretty oxygen proof. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So now we soured the mash or the wort for uh, one day. Uh, we, can, we are boiling it now. So let's go check out the boil. So it's day two, yeah? It's day two, yeah. Why have we done this over two days? Uh, we needed some time for the bacteria to infect the wort so we can get the sourness we wanted. So, uh, 
This is how it looks now. There's a boil. Yeah, it smells like oranges. It does, it yeah. really does. And you get a little bit of that sourness as well. Yeah. In the aroma, just by smelling the beer from this distance. Yeah. Great. So, what we are going to add during the boil, we're gonna add a little bit of hops. We're aiming for an IBU of about 6.57 IBUs. Uh, Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this Brewmeister system then. It looks really good. Yeah, it's what we call our compact brewery. It's all in one. Uh, we got a mash tun in it, and boil and computer with uh, stop mashing and you can program it for, for and you will get an alert when you have to add hops in the timer and temperature in it. And when it's ready you just literally turn the tap and you put your mouth on the job done. Yeah. <laughs> if you're using a, if, if you're programming it uh, and when the boiling stops uh, it will say uh, brewing completed. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Stole the crows. <laughs> Stole the crows. <laughs> so I'm really excited to uh, see how this turns out. It's not going to be really sour. We're only souring for uh, one day. So, but we're going to add the, um, the fireweed in two weeks, maybe after it's done fermenting. So it's going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be a really, really pink yeah. Berliner Weisse. Cool. Yeah. So Benjamin, have this tablet. Um, did you want me to eat it? You can eat it if you no, want, no, if you no, want no. to clear your <laughs> So, we're going to be putting this in the beer to we want bring, we're going to drop everything out, yeah, all of the... Yeah, everything will uh, bind up nicely and fall to the... Whoop! Here we go! Here we go! So, the reason, usually a Berliner Weiss is pretty hazy. Yeah. We want to try to make it a little bit less hazy because really? we want that pink color to be Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So. so the reason we put this tablet in, which is made either of fish eyes or seaweed, um, is that it just, it reacts with the beer and it makes the beer clearer, which a lot of big breweries use this, and of course craft breweries use this if they want a clearer beer, yeah? yeah it's all natural products. It's, we weren't just throwing in a tablet made in some kind of weird laboratory, there were we? It's, it's all natural products. That's, yeah. Let's just be made. Cheers.